today is going to be another one of my first impressions videos. I love making these and this is actually a viewer's request. It is the new Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Foundation. I'm very, very excited about this. I have been a huge fan of Bare Bare Minerals on and off for years. I started using them in college because my best friend and roommate at the time, Erin, she's still my best friend but roommate at the time, she was using Bare Minerals and was telling me about it. So I tried it out, used them for years, put them away, used them again, put them away and kind of rediscovered them recently again. If you've been watching my channel, you would have noticed a lot more Bare Minerals on my channel. But it is just a great company, great concept. I love the idea behind it all and I usually like the finish. I just sometimes rather have a liquid foundation because of the look. So I'm very excited about this. This is supposed to be a pure brightening serum foundation, so it's supposed to have added skin benefits. And I also got the brush to go with it. The brush is really interesting. It has a little dome in it, so you can put the droplets of the foundation, which is very liquidy and very much like a tinted serum formula, and then you're supposed to just buff it all over your face. So I'm gonna get right into it. I have nothing on my face. I just washed it and applied my daily moisturizer with SPF. So other than that, nothing is on my face, which is very clear if you can see me on YouTube right now. So I'm gonna get into it. So I'm gonna get into it. This brush was specially for, uh, created for this foundation and I don't know if you guys can see this but there's like a little circular dome on the inside so it's got the longer hairs on the outside for buffing and then that circular flat inside for the serum that's supposed to help applicate use it for application. I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Foundation Primer in brightening. So you've seen me use this before, but I just, I always like to prime my skin if I'm going to be wearing a foundation. The only time I don't prime my face is if I'm using a BB or CC cream. So I'm just going to quickly prime this. And it's just like a slightly illuminating tinted primer that I'm putting on. You can't see a big difference, but it just creates a barrier for my skin. So the shade I got is Bare Beige 08. And let me just read a little bit about it for you all. It says, a breakthrough tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one. Created with exceptional purity in mind, this ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage, a natural finish, and the look and feel of beautiful bare skin while del delivering a more noticeably brighter youthful appearance. Made with the bare minimum ingredients and formulated without water, oil, silicone, parabens, or fragrance, it's like nothing you've ever felt before formulated for all skin types and skin tones. So this has SPF um, 20, which is okay. Basically, because you can't actually have a liquid mineral formula, I mean there's minerals in it, but you can't have a purely liquid mineral because there's no such thing. This is not as pure in sense of minerals as their original powder foundation. So if you're wondering why there's no such thing as like pure mineral liquid foundations is because there's no such thing as liquid minerals. So I'm going to shake this up like it says, and I hope this shade matches me. I was matching myself in Ulta and I'm just hoping it matches. You know how you just don't know sometimes? So you have to shake it really well, and then you see how it's like a little squeeze tube? This reminds me of like art class with paint, watercolors. So you're just gonna put, I'm gonna put maybe two or three drops in here. So that's like two, so two and a half drops into the center of that brush. Um, what, it's very lightweight feeling. Honestly, don't even feel like I'm putting any product on my face. So I'm going to add a little more. Dot. I think I'm going to try the dot method. And then it's seriously really lightweight. Like I, if I wasn't looking in the mirror, I feel like I'm just brushing my face with a brush and there's no product on it. Okay, so I had to use this three times at two and a half to three drops each. I really think that it did an amazing job at covering my blemishes and any discoloration. It really, really hid any redness that I have around the nose. I think this color match is pretty spot on. 
and if it isn't because it's so thin it doesn't seem to be like a huge deal I think this tone is a lot more matching in my summer spring like shoulders so it's definitely a little darker than I normally would go I might buy a shade lighter for summer or for winter honestly guys I could not feel this going on I literally thought I was taking a empty brush and just buffing my skin because I could not feel any of the product and I love that. I love not feeling like I'm wearing makeup. I hate it when I feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup on my face. I like my face to feel like it's light and it can breathe as Dolly snoring. Um, I am really loving this. I hope it holds up. I'm not so sure I need this brush though. I think I would have done just as well with any other brush. I think the reason they wanted you to use this brush is because this way you're never touching the foundation with your hands, which is a nice concept. It's a little more sanitary and it's cleaner. Um, it's just, I'm so shocked at how lightweight this is. This is even more lightweight than my Chanel Vita Aqua, Aqua Lumiere foundation. So, and that's probably one of my most lightweight foundations I own, even though I really like um, natural finishes and everything it's still hard to find an incredibly lightweight foundation where this feels seriously amazing so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup I don't think I even need any concealer really I'll probably just conceal my under eyes to brighten them a little bit more and I'll come back to check in with you so my first impression so far I love this foundation it did an amazing job at covering and I did like about a medium coverage so if you wanted to you can build it up by going in again to the spots you first started and buffing it back in there and you can definitely build this to a high coverage to very high coverage without feeling like you're kicking on the makeup or that you're wearing a ton of makeup so I'm loving 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 the way this foundation has covered my skin and how it feels it just feels so good on me right now and my only concern will be to see how it holds up in this hotter weather because with with liquids, it tends to melt easier, it's harder to keep the shine at bay, all that stuff. I did use my original Mineral Veil powder to dust and set everything, so that is important, especially with a liquid foundation, if you are shiny, oily, or combination. If you're super dry, I would maybe suggest using a setting spray instead. So I am loving, loving, loving this foundation. Hi guys, so I'm back doing a really quick check-in. It is now about six o'clock in the evening, so I've had this on for about four hours and so far so good I have not used a blotting sheet I have not powdered or touched anything up everything looks really good I'm actually really shocked because if you look close up I don't even have any piles of oil building up which I normally would around my nose and my cheeks so or my forehead everything looks really matte still not that this was a matte finish but with the powder it gave me more of like a clean look versus a luminous look so it is wearing really well and I do have to say I've been pretty warm all day so I haven't been sweating necessarily but I've definitely been like glistening and warm so so far so good after four hours not any touch-up needed I'm gonna head out to an early dinner with my husband and I'll check back in in a little bit hi guys welcome back for my final check-in and final thoughts it is now 8:24 in the evening and I have yet to retouch or powder or blot or anything like that with my makeup I am really happy with how this foundation is holding up I think this is an amazing product I don't even really need a major touch-up I think a blotting sheet would fix there's a little bit of shininess like happening on my nose like especially in the crease right here on my left maybe I sweat more on my left I don't know do people sweat more on one side than the other anyways so I would just need maybe a blotting sheet to kind of soak up a little bit of the oil around my nose like I said today was quite warm it was pretty hot I was outside quite a bit in the Sun so it held up really well considering I was thor thoroughly warm throughout the day and my skin is still covered so even though I'm a little oily in certain areas mainly my left side I really don't know what's going on with my left side of my face but it's not like my makeup is slipping and sliding a lot of the times you can see that with 
foundations. So I'm loving this. I really recommend it if you are a natural mineral makeup lover. I think this is a good option for you for a liquid. I love the serum formula. It's again super lightweight. Just make sure you shake it up really really good. I give this a big two thumbs up because I really really like this foundation. I'm going to wear it quite a bit. Now the brush is hit or miss with me. I think if you have the money and you want to get a foundation brush because you don't have anything that's like this and it, um, and you just want like a specific brush to go with the foundation then go ahead and get it. If it's not in your budget or you just don't, you have a ton of brushes, you have dense flat top brushes that you might have at home that would work, then you can just skip the brush. It's not that big of a deal. I really love this foundation though and it comes in a ton of colors. It's really good for your skin because it's a serum formula and it's as close to all mineral as possible for it to be a liquid foundation. So if you guys have any more questions about this foundation or anything at all, if you have other requests for first impressions, leave me a comment below. I, like I said in the beginning of this video, this was a viewer requested foundation first impressions. So I do listen to you guys and I do try my best to fulfill all requests. Anyways, leave me a comment below, come say hi, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There's three giveaways going on on my channel currently, and I will be doing some Instagram ones, all that stuff. So just keep an eye out. If you don't win one of my giveaways, don't be disheartened because I do tons of them quite frequently because of that reason. I know there's 4,000 of you guys watching, and I want to make sure at one point or another you have a real shot at winning. So just follow the rules in all the giveaways and keep on watching. One day it will be your turn, I promise. Um, I do my best. I do as many as possible. So thank you guys so much and I will see you very soon. Bye.